Hi there, welcome to Slim and Happy with Dr. Donna. Some of my friends have asked me to address the issue of mindfulness and overeating. I wonder if you've heard the acronym HALT, H-A-L-T. It's used a lot in recovery circles and it's all the four things you want to be sure don't happen to you so that you prevent yourself from, say, relapsing or overeating. The H stands for hungry. When you're hungry, you don't make good choices. You, uh, you might grab a candy bar or something that really isn't on your program. So what you want to do is keep your blood sugar stable. Never allow yourself to get hungry. On the program that I teach, we eat six times a day, so we're never hungry and also cravings are reduced. So keep an apple with you, keep a protein bar with you. Always have some healthy food or some nuts nearby so you don't get hungry and you won't be tempted to make bad choices. Um, the second one is angry. A lot of people who eat emotionally, they're angry, they're frustrated, they're aggravated. And that's not a good thing because they just stuff their emotions. And when you feel like you need to eat a candy bar or something that doesn't serve you, drink a, you know, drink a beer and that's not on your program, stop and think, you know, what is it that this, say, candy bar is going to give me and it's not going to change the situation at all. In fact, in most cases, it's going to make it worse. So find a constructive way to deal with your anger or the other emotions. Take a walk, do some deep breathing, do some meditation, but eating isn't going to fix your problem and it's probably going to make it worse. Okay, the third one is L, so we're at H-A-L. L is for lonely. A lot of people now stay home, they feel lonely, they feel sad, maybe they were in a relationship that broke up or they had a parent that died, they feel lonely and there's that bag of chips or that carton of ice cream. You know what, that's not gonna make it better either. So if you're lonely, don't drown your sorrows in either food or alcohol. Step back and say, what can I do that would be constructive to deal with this loneliness? Call an old friend, write a letter, get on Facebook, find some way to reach out to other people, go out and dig in your garden, do something healthy, but don't allow your loneliness you know, to be drowned in something that doesn't serve you. And fourth is tired. You know, when we're tired, we just don't make good choices. People who are tired, there's more um, cortisol in their stomach. They tend to, you know, eat, to be stress eaters. They gain weight more easily. They have a harder time losing weight. So try to get your seven or eight hours of sleep. Take little short naps if you can. Um, but I would say, um, in terms of tired, the most important thing is is getting your rest. And when you're tired, recognize that um, making poor food choices or choosing those. Uh, those foods that are high in sugar or even high in caffeine is really n not what you need. You need to get your body in balance so that you're not so tired. You know, get your rest, eat your healthy food, high in protein, moderate carb, so that your blood sugar stays stable. So, you know, it's a little quick overview, but if you want to think about mindfulness, if you feel the urge to eat or overeat, stop first and say, gee, am I really hungry? Am I angry? Am I lonely? Am I tired? And if it's any of those things, make a better choice. This is Slim and Happy with Dr. Donna. Please feel free to share this with your friends.